the previous video, we looked at how to use the metamorph object as an instance of geometry nodes. This time, let's learn how to implement the following effects using metamorph and geometry proximity nodes. Select the default cube and click the geometry nodes tab. Add a cylinder, increase the fill segments and adjust the depth and radius value. Add an instance on points node. Add a metamorph object and connect it to an instance socket. Metamorph objects are not immediately recognized as instances. After selecting the cube object to which the geometry nodes are applied, press Ctrl P to set the parent child relationship. After selecting the vertices item from the instancing option of the cube object, check the as instance option of the object info node. Then, we can see that the metamorph object acts as an instance. With this setting, we can try many different things by adding another metamorph object. We can try making fried eggs. Now, we are going to utilize geometry proximity node. Add the set position node. Add the UV sphere. Add the geometry proximity node. Add and connect combined XYZ node to change only on the Z axis. Add a mem range node for predictable control. Adjust the mem range node value. We can make something interesting out of these properties. Try a variety of things and get inspired. I tried this. Digging deep or soaring can be easily obtained by adjusting the each of the marriage node value. Using join geometry node, we can make more use of the geometry proximity node. That's it for this video. Thank you for all your time.